so now we will talk about the theme provider so what is the theme provider so theme provider is used to modify the current theme and then provide that to the child components again so theme provider is used to modify the current theme of the material ui and in that we can modify the default theme like the default colors of the primary or secondary and we can change the breakpoint sizes and much more and then the child component needs to be wrapped inside it so we need to wrap the child components with the theme provider to use the modified theme and then we can just create a modified theme variable and then we can just export that and then we need to pass the prop theme and then we can use that theme inside the child components as well like we can change the primary color etc and then you can access the current theme of the material ui by the use theme so the use theme prop is available inside the mui material package so you don't need to install anything so the use theme you can just use the use theme you can just give it the reference to the variable and then you can just lock and then you can see the current theme of the material ui and now we can see some properties of the theme provider so the main property is the theme to refer to the modified theme and in the theme variable we can just create a new theme and then we can just modify some things and then we can just pass it as a prop inside the theme provider to use the modified theme so this is the relation between the theme so now we will just move on to the theming inside the material ui that we have so now we have the theming and then we can just customize the mui with your theme we can just customize as per our requirement and you can change the colors the typography much more and then you can see we have a theme provider here also it is written that you need to use a theme provider in order to just customize your theme in order to inject a new theme and now you can see you have the, some variables inside some theme provider as well you have the palette and in the palette you have the primary you have the secondary you have all of the colors like primary you have the main inside the primary and then you have these colors and then you have the secondary you have the error so you can just change these colors as well and then you have the typography so you can change the typography styles as well and then you can have some spacings you can change the spacings as well so by default spacing will be removed and then you have the breakpoints like the extra small and then you can say you have the extra small and it is working from the 0 to the 600 and the small from the 600 to 900 the medium from the 900 to 1200 and then you have the large from the 1200 to the 1536 pixels so this is the default breakpoints and you can just change the breakpoints as well with the theme so now we will just move on to the application to edit the current theme and before editing the current theme now if we want to access the current theme of the material ui so we can do that so we can just import the use theme from this package only so it will the use theme and then we can just go and then we can just create a variable as the theme and it will be cost to the use theme so it will just use the by default theme of the material ui and then we can just lock the theme as well so if i will now save if i will now just move on to the application so now we can just move on to the lock and then we can see the current theme of the material ui as well so now you can see now we have to object and then we can just expand that object now you can see now we have the breakpoints we have the components we have the mixins we have the palette that we have seen we have the shadows we have the shape we have the spacing we have the transitions we have the typography that index and all of the properties are now available and then we can just change the palette of that also like we have the augment color you can have the primary you can have the secondary and these are the main color for the primary main you can use that for the light you can use that for the dark you can use that so these are all of the colors that are available and then you can see inside the breakpoints and the breakpoints are very necessary if you are building a responsive websites and then you can see you have some functions like you have the between so if the breakpoint is between the start and the end so this function will return a true or false and then you have the down function this also return a true or false and then you have the keys of the breakpoints like we have seen like the excess we have the small we have the medium we have the large we have the excel and then we have the not and then we have another function which is the up and then we have the values of the theme as well and then we can just directly change these values as well so these are about the theme and then you can read about the theme as well you can just play around with all of the theme variables and then you can just edit that so now we will just move on to editing the theme as well so for that we need to just create a new file and it will the theme dot js and here we can just declare a new theme as the theme will be equals to and it will be the create theme so we need to just create a theme for the material ui and then we need to import this from the mui material package and make sure you are importing it from the mui material and then after that we can just create here an object and all of these theme properties are now available inside that so if you want to access the palette property so you can just add a palette and then after that you can just add a primary so the primary will also be available and if you want to change the color of the primary as well so you have to target the property of the main and then you can just give any hex value so for the hex value we can just get any hex value as well you have the hex codes so you can just grab any hex code like you can see 
you can just move around and then you can just grab this hex code now and then you can just paste here and then if i will now just save and now we can just export this theme as well so now we have just created a default theme for the material ui so now we have just modified the theme with the new color of the primary so we can just save and after that as we have discussed now we need to move on to the root component which is the index.js and here we can just wrap the app component with the theme so for that we need to use here the theme provider and make sure you are importing for the MUI material only so then after that you can just move the app component below that and then you need to pass here a theme prop so there is a theme prop which is available you need to pass and then you need to import the theme as well which we have just created and now this modified theme will be then available to the app component and then we can just move on to the test.js and inside the box now we can just have here the typography and inside the typography now we will have the color and the color we will have it will be the primary so now we will see the modified color of the primary so we can just have there we can just have here the hello world so if i will now save if i will now just move on to the application so now you can see now we have different primary color that we have just used here so now we have the same primary color which we have just used here we have just used this and then you can see now we have the modified primary color inside the material ui theme so this is how can we do and this is how can we modify the current theme of the material ui and then if you want to change different things in the typography only so you can just move on to the theme and then we can just move on to the console and then we can see which object has the typography so now you can see the typography is available in the root so we can just target the typography after the palette put with the typography so now you can see the typography is available and if you want to just change the size of the h1 element of the typography so the h1 element is very big so we can just change and we can just target the h1 element and we can just change the size of the font as well so now you can see after the typography we have the h1 which is available and then inside the h1 we have the font size which we can change see we have so we have a font size and then we can just change the font size as well so by default font size in this h1 is like 6 rem so it is like a 6 rem so we can just change to 1 rem only or we can just change to pixels as well so it will so it will be the 20 pixels so if i will now just save and if i will now just move on to the test and here in the typography we can just have here the variant will be equals to the h1 so if i will now save so and now you can see the h1 style is now applied to this and now the font size is 20 pixels and now we can just move on to the inspect and then we can just check the font size here as well so we can just grab that and then now you can see we have the font size is equal to the 20 pixels so this is how can we change the things inside the material ui and then if you want to change the things inside the breakpoints as well so you can have a breakpoints and then you can just target the values of the breakpoints as well so in the breakpoints we can just see we have the values and in in the values we can just change the medium values and then we can change the small values as well so we can just change the x s and then we can just change the by default value of the x s to the 200 so you can change with any number of the x s you can change to the medium and then you can use it with the grid and then you can just use it for the responsiveness like the navigation bars or the sidebars or the menus and the forms so this is all about the theme inside the material ui and then you can just change the modify theme and then you can just access your modified theme as well and this is all about the theming inside the material UI.